The Bay Path Humane Society hosted a grand opening for their real-life room that will help allow more space for the animals and adopters. So the space is modular. We can do a lot with it. A couple weeks ago, we had it filled with kittens so that adopters could come in and play with kittens. We also use it for training, um, both dog training and people training. Um, we can use it also for uh, if adopters want to come in and spend time with their animal, they certainly can and get to know them a little bit better. We've now got additional office space as well. And we just, it's a multifunction room that we're pretty excited about. The room was funded by both a grant from Especially for Pets, their Q1 quarterly nail clipping, and it also was funded by proceeds from our furball this year. So we were very lucky to have it fully funded. Uh, this is the first time since the late 70s that we've been able to add indoor space to the shelter. So the primary building for the shelter is around 1,700 square feet. This facility here is 288 square feet. And so that addition is going to really allow us to do a lot more for the community and a lot more for the animals while they wait to find homes. Sandra outlined some benefits that the new room brings to the center. A lot of the details of what it, the benefits are, quiet retreat and training area for dogs, as I mentioned enrichment for our longer term guests who can go a little squirrely in the um, kennels, um, house manners. So, you know, people like to adopt dogs who are perhaps able to sit, stay. So we can start to treat, teach them those manners. Um, if we have a, an animal with medical needs, we can take them out of the shelter environment and put them in here um, and let them recoup. Um, we, uh, it's a dedicated for one-on-one -on -one bonding time, as I mentioned, so that if an adopter wants to spend a little time, get to know the pet, um, they can get out of the craziness of the shelter and come in here and it's a calmer, quieter environment. Um, it's also a chance for us to really go over the details of adoption. So something that gets, it's kind of hectic in the main shelter. So it's kind of nice to sit down, spend time, especially if it's a special needs animal, to spend time talking to them about what their, you know, the animal's needs and what they're going to need going forward. It's also Sometimes animal surrenders are very difficult, and this is a great place to just take somebody and just work with them on why they're surrendering their animal, what the benefits are of their animal, the positive traits about their animal. Um, and then also, you know, one of the best things about adoptions is cage-free pictures. So, you know, you want to see an animal just enjoying themselves, maybe laying down over there, and we can get beautiful pictures. Um, and then, as I mentioned, volunteer training and orientation space, and then also space for our staff, which they don't have right now, to meet, regroup, share ideas about animal care and whatnot. The funding came from two sources. It came from the uh, Q1 nail clipping program with Especially for Pets. So that means that the donations that were made as part of the nail clipping between January and March of this year contributed to the, the funding of the room. In addition to that, we held our annual furball event um, in the, in the uh, winter time. And so that is a one night event in which we had approximately 360 people participate. And through a combination of their ticket prices combined with various kinds of auctions that we had at the event, we were able to uh, raise the money, the additional money needed to fund the room. So it's a great environment to bring them into where it's not hectic like a shelter environment where we can actually have a more normal and relaxed interaction between the dog and the cat to get a better feel that if it's gonna be an appropriate fit um, for the animals. And we have actually successfully used this room um, for that context and, the, and it resulted in a nice successful adoption. They were able to bring the dog home and had a great interaction with their cat.